Day one in the books, we woke up on the morning of day two to find fresh snow on the ground. It was time to ski. This is the morning of day two. Um, yesterday we got into the hut, put our stuff down and relaxed for a little bit and we were able to get out for a nice afternoon ski. We hit a pretty fun north, northeast facing aspect. The snow is actually pretty good. It's a lot better than it is in Summit County right now. First day of skiing was definitely a success. Came back to the hut, we had a bomber three course meal. We're feeling pretty spoiled right now. Went to bed, woke up this morning. We've got some fresh snow on the ground, probably three to seven inches, depending on what aspect we're looking at and where in the valley we are, but um, the visibility is really low. So we're probably gonna try to figure out some treed areas to ski just so that we can manage that visibility in the new snow. Looking forward to another fun day of skiing. We began our day by party skiing a south facing slope down into a drainage just below the hut. This gave us a good feel for the snow before laying a skin track up a densely treed ridgeline into a zone known as the Paradise Trees. Our objective was a north facing avalanche path that we suspected held some steep and deep turns. Your experience so far? It's been pretty good, man. Had a pretty good day hiking in yesterday. Got a quick lap in and got some good fresh snow overnight. We're gonna have a nice long steep lap all the way back down. Hopefully get one more. Woo. A few quick snowpack tests confirmed our suspicions. We had deep, stable powder. We were psyched. ECT 26. That's still pretty well. It's going to be super fun going down. <laughs> it was steep. It better be. It's steep, so it's going to be fun. Yep. of the line held some of the best turns of the trip. Knee deep powder in a wide open chute. What more could you ask for? As we worked our way down, however, the line gradually choked out and got pretty junky by the bottom, but it was worth it. With everybody down, safe, and smiling, it was time to transition and hike back up to the hut for some afternoon soup before heading back out for a second mission. Spirits are high. We finally made it to, to the pseudo top, um, but it was a little bit of a, a black diamond skin track. <laughs> you can see there's people crawling up right now. We skied that yesterday. We got baby skiing that over there. It rocks, but we can make it a little shallow there. So.
buddy. All right. I'll We are on our final day here. We're sort of wrapping up and packing up. We're probably gonna ski one line and then head back to the car. It's been a nice place to hang out and you know we've <laughs> we've sort of tracked it up like a ski resort up to this point. But um, we've been really fortunate. The snowpack has been pretty settled down for us. Um, the hut keeper was saying that we're really the first group that's been able to do some like actual real skiing. Um, so I think we're very lucky in terms of our timing. You can also see across the valley, we've been skiing those tree shots in there um, at the avalanche paths. Those were probably our deepest turns of the trip, I would say. I think at the top of those tree shots, we probably got 20 turns of knee to thigh deep powder, which was pretty incredible. You know, I think the whole trip in terms of snowfall and the snow quality has been amazing. You know, we skied fresh powder lines the whole time, which we were certainly not expecting. So. All in all, I think it was a pretty killer trip and definitely exceeded expectations in terms of the actual skiing we were doing. Um, so now we are packing up and getting out of here, um, which is gonna be interesting because we gotta fill up our packs with all of our clothes, all the stuff we slept in, food, trash, all that stuff, um, and ski out of here. I think we're gonna try to hit one line on the way out, I don't really know. Um, it's starting to get really socked in. So. Um, we're gonna make our way out of here, but I would expect it to take us probably, I don't know, a couple hours to actually get to the car. And then we have a six hour drive back to Breck, so it's gonna be a long day. Wrapping up our last day here at Opus Hut. Um, we just had a great line up in that valley right behind me. Um, you can see there's some weather rolling in, so we are trying to get out of here so we don't have a, a, a terrible drive back to Breckenridge. But um, we had a great trip here. The weather really cooperated for us. The snow was amazing the whole time. You know, we had 
boot, knee, thigh deep powder, basically the whole trip um, completely to ourselves. So, you know, as far as the whole Opus Hut experience and how unique it is, I think it far exceeded my expectations and I imagine for most other people on the trip. You know, if you just sort of take a look around at the terrain that we're looking at right now, you just, you don't see this, especially around Breckenridge, but you don't see this really anywhere. Um, so I feel very fortunate to have just spent three, three nights and four days here being able to ski around and have fun. So um, we're gonna take off. We have sort of a sketchy little run out and I have this 65 pound pack on my back with shit hanging off. So um, we'll see you back in the car.